This is gonna be the new setup out in the garage because the lessons learned are I don't like the shaky cam and I don't like some of the audio. So right now we're, we're using lav mic right here and also the shotgun up top. Left channel is the Sermonic and right channel is the Video Mic Pro and then I mono them in post and uh, then I can play with the different volumes because both of these just give out mono signals anyways. So it's sweet dual mic setup. <laughs> yeah, and then yeah, gimbal, lo lots of fun. Uh, yeah, so I think that should cover it for now. So as you can see, the DSM and the Haas take up quite a bit of room, both vertically, but mostly footprint-wise. Um, I've gone over my plan a million times in the last few videos, but if you don't know, I'm going to be creating stairs up here that go up on top of a mezzanine. The mezzanine will go over the entire Haas. I'm gonna take it right down to the end of the garage, maybe like, I don't know, a few feet in from the door. I'm gonna do it all proper with giant beams and uh, up to code. I like when there's about like a minute of me talking and then about 15, 10, 15 seconds of action, action, working action, and then more of this or more explaining. So that's what I'm gonna try and do today. But what we're gonna do today first then though, is try and get uh, the DSM out of here. camera you can probably still hear me this is why I'm doing it but yeah so we'll put four four wide all the way down to here post there going up mezzanine across like that that'll give me all my storage space back I am super super duper duper stoked on that um but yeah I gotta get this done because I got a trench because we need power and heat out here because the pro that thing eats propane like you would not believe like every three days I'm filling it up it's an 80,000 BTU heater so I don't know it's quite quite big yeah there's all my wood for my joists the uh the two by tens that I'm gonna use for my built-up beam are outside they're what I actually use to lift the garage with so I got the beams in here now um you can see them four wide so I gotta cut a piece there and two more down there I can't remember what the measure Yes, but uh, so it'll take two more of these guys, which leaves me two left, and I need one for along the, and then I need one for along there, and one for along there. Shit. And then I've got 16 of these, I think, which puts me on 16 on centers all the way along. Hey, again, lessons learned. I glaze over too much stuff. Uh, so today we're, I'm not gonna do that. So I'm using the City of Saskatoon's built up beam. Uh, this one's just kinda, I just need to know kind of the nailing pattern from this one because this is the first time I've done this and I don't know the nail pattern. And then this one, the City of Nanaimo, which is in BC. Again, probably similar. This isn't living quarters, but, and we're not even gonna load this nearly as much. Uh, so anyways, it tells me the built up beam here uh, four two by tens will go a span of about 13 feet if my joists are 10 feet. My joists are 10 feet. <laughs> so 13 feet. <clears throat> 13 feet from that wall puts me, I think, right where that little plastic bag is. Right? So, <laughs> right where that little plastic bag is. So that puts me about right here where the post is gonna be, which makes it really hard for me to get that uh, display in and out. Also, this thing's moving a little bit more this way. Also, the space above here is gonna be mostly empty. Uh, so really what we care about is the loading on this side because this will all be sheeted in. So the beam or the post from there to there is like nine feet or something. So we're well under, well under 
And I don't know what the live loading is for these or the dead loading. I believe it's 2040. Don't matter though. Because again, we're not loading it to that nearly to that. So. that level. Okay, so I got the uh, first two beams together now. Uh, so it ended up being 71 inches for that piece and 16 feet for this. I don't know, does that add up to 22 feet? <laughs> It, I don't know, 71 doesn't sound like it should, should it? Sounds like one inch longer than it needs to be. Ugh, have I mentioned, have I mentioned how much I love this setup today? Okay, so, we got the big beams all done up now. Four wide as you can see. And we got the joist hangers ready to bang in. Um, so the column should sit right in the center of there. And when you look at it up there, that edge of the col or this edge of the column is like, I don't know, three, four inches in on the edges. Yeah, and uh, I gotta move the Haas six more inches this way. Shit, tons of room for storage. Uh, anyway, so I'm gonna get these banged out. So, oh, I just flipped it over. I've got this one prepped now too. Um, I'm just about to prep that last little one, but that's all our hangers in, ready to go, lined up. Yeah, and then so next I'll, well I'm going to finish that other one, but then I'll tag that beam against the wall there. Once that's up, I'm going to put this up and then I'll walk you through this one more time because I'm not sure if I've explained this succinctly yet. So the beam is looking sick. All those are in. Okay, so now this guy. This guy right here. Okay, so these are attached from the back with giant screws. Hold on. These are attached from the back with giant screws. And I've got these, whoops. And then I've got these down here. That'll hook into the beam. You'll see that in a minute. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna lift the big beam up. Up and over, it should sit just behind. I don't know why I made this so tall. Oh no. Um, it'll sit just behind, locking it in. And I'm gonna pick it up in the center right here with the uh, the clevis there and the sling. The double wrap sling stops it from sliding back and forth because it's, it's slip knotted, so it tightens as you lift. Uh, the clevis is just the, the clevis is just to make it easy. Uh, the roller is to make it more complicated. <laughs> uh, I'll be using my engine hoist. It is more than up to the task. I know this goes quite tall because in, back in the day before this thing was tall, it used to hit these top beams no problem. So um, it should lift more than enough height, more than enough height. Um, if it doesn't though, well, I uh, will cross that fucking bridge when we come to it. I guess. How are you liking the gimbal? Do you like the gimbal? Hit me up in the comments. If you like the if you like the gimbal, no more shaky cam. If you like the audio, the double mic setup, hit me up in the comments. Give me a like or even a subscribe, cause uh, I'm not going anywhere. And we're starting to get to the interesting stuff. Oh yes, the real interesting stuff. Anyways, I gotta get this beam up. So I need some water first. So we'll reposition this sling further down the beam and then I will jack it, then I will jack it up and I will put a joist in, oop, in the far side over there, lock it in there, lock it in this side, then I'll put the level in the beam and then once I get it to the level position, I will measure the distance on the far end. I will go in the corner, cut the telepost, come back, put the telepost in, that will lock me ill. That'll lock me in for the night because uh, I'm getting a little tired, so.
Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Level one way. Holy fuck, level both ways. That's how you make a beam, bitch. We get the uh, gigantic beam in there. And the first joy stand, I don't really know if it's square. That's okay though. So we got the, uh, the joy cell up there. We got the beam up there. We've checked the clearances. Uh, tomorrow, oh God, we gotta hurry because we're gonna meet that guy about the trailer tomorrow and I have to unload everything from the trailer up onto there so I can get rid of the trailer. And then I have to go pick up the gas line because we're gonna trench for the power in here soon. Power and the gas. A uh, lot to do. I'm gonna go uh, start editing, I guess. I'm gonna go get cleaned up and play a little Gran Turismo. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you everybody that subscribed so far and everybody that watches without skipping ahead because every single minute watched telling the algorithm I'm doing a good job. So thank you everybody. Uh, yeah, tomorrow's a big day too. Every day is a big day. Lucas is busy.